All right, so I uh, just finished checking into my Airbnb here in LA. It was a quick three hour flight from Seattle, so not too bad. I'm heading to the track right now. It's at Occidental College tonight. I race tomorrow, so I'm gonna do 30 minute run, uh, some strides, and maybe run over a couple hurdles. Keep the legs fresh, get a little turnover. Not a lot to it the day before a race, you know, haze in the barn. So uh, yeah, see what's going on at the track, maybe see some friends, and uh, yeah, get excited for the race tomorrow. Rest up. All right, it's race day here in LA. Got some good sleep last night after my uh, pre-meet. Feeling a little nervous. It's about noon right now. Uh, I raced tonight around eight o'clock, so got a couple couple hours to kill. Last night, the pre-meet went well. I actually just kind of walked to the closest Italian place for dinner afterwards and ended up being the Capri Italian or something like that. Um, it's pretty good. It actually apparently was featured on Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Today can be summed up in one four-letter word. Luckily, there was no nightmare for me. Lasagna was fine, so I got a couple groceries on my way home, a little oatmeal, some yogurt, some fruit to hold me over. And uh, yeah, went to bed pretty early, got some good rest. Race day for me, typically, if I'm racing in the evening, I'll get up uh, whenever. I won't set an alarm, just kind of sleep in. Have some oatmeal for breakfast, usually, and then uh, go for a little jog, maybe 10 minutes, um, maybe six, seven hours before my race, just kind of wake up the body a little bit. Um, and otherwise, yeah, just, you know, read. I got my book, um, watch some Netflix, hang out with friends, go to a coffee shop, pretty much just hang out all day. Try to stay, you know, low key. Um, this morning, it's, uh, it's actually raining outside right now, so just kind of had a low key morning. Yeah, definitely some pre-race nerves. Um, it's a good field tonight, so looking forward to that. And um, yeah, keep you updated throughout the day. Here with Jordan, man. Took the win tonight. In the yeah, Bowl. buddy. <laughs> tell me, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it loads of fun, man. Got to like, got to like uh, 800 to go. I was like, man, I feel pretty good. And two weeks ago, my last 300, not good. <laughs> Exodus. Everyone, you included, just bye. See ya, <laughs> everyone. So I came out today, and uh, you know, I knew I wanted to do better than the last couple laps, and I definitely did. Awesome. Good. What do you gotta say? <laughs> I'll come for you, buddy. <laughs> Watch out, day long leg's gonna stomp right over you. <laughs> All right, so it's the uh, morning after the races, and I'm um, here at my Airbnb. I got some uh, some oatmeal, and uh, yeah, I've just been thinking about my race last night. Um, I ran 8.39 to finish ninth. Not the night I was hoping for, but some positives to take away, I guess. I still ran a second fastest time of my life. Uh, my hurdling was a lot better than at Peyton Jordan, but unfortunately, I just you know let enough space open up between myself and the leaders in the middle of the race that. 
know, when it came to those last two laps, I just wasn't close enough to really compete for the win. I still closed well, but everyone closed well. We were kind of off a slow pace. Definitely a learning experience again. I feel like I really need to just put myself in that lead pack next time, be more aggressive in the middle of the race. But again, you know, that's part of the game. Not every race can be a personal best. I finished really strong at Peyton Jordan, but I had a lot of, you know, bad hurdles. And, you know, I, I saw a lot of room for improvement, and I know I still have a lot of room for improvement, but it's not all gonna happen one race. So, um, back to work. And this race was a lot of fun, though. Um, big shout out to the meet organizers and the USATF for putting it on. It's always so much fun to come to races like this. The running community is really, uh, really small. And so it's fun, you know, you see all your friends that you, um, whether it's here in the States or in Europe or wherever around the world, we all go to our own separate corners of the world to train, but then, you know, come race day, we're all, we're all back together again and got to warm up with my friends, cool down with some friends, um, got dinner last night with some of my other friends. Friday morning, I'm gonna head to the Meat Hotel here soon and, uh, go for a little run with some of my buddies post-race, just probably an easy 60 minutes, fly back to Seattle and then resume my, uh, regularly scheduled training. But yeah, so this has been a really good weekend. Um, wish my race had gone better, but that's just that's just how it goes sometimes, you know. I I really want to get that world standard. Uh, I really want to run under 830, but I've got to earn it, and I didn't earn it last night. And I've been I've been working towards it. I know I'm ready for it, but it's gonna take not just preparation but execution. So whether I ran faster last night or not, today is the same. You know, I'm gonna go run. I'm gonna go run tomorrow. I'm gonna go run next week and keep training, keep the ball rolling. So. Been a good experience, but hungry for more and excited for the next race. I'll probably be going down to Portland uh, early June. After that, we'll see. But thank you all for watching again. Learning as I go, I appreciate the, uh, the support so far. Appreciate all the feedback from friends and family and people who have tuned in so far, so thank you and uh, cheers.